We are just about to leave London and go home to Ireland so I figured I would start the vlog. Um, we're going to get a train now to the airport and then we're flying from the airport, obviously the airport, um, straight into Farn 4 in Kerry so it should be a really quick and easy flight. We're kind of worried our bags are a little bit overweight because um, we're flying a Ryanair to Kerry. Uh, so yeah, this should be this should be interesting, but we'll see now when we get to the airport, and um, we should have plenty of time. We're actually running kind of on schedule, um, but yeah, excited to go. Off we go. Ooh, the last leg. <laughs> the last leg. It has been a journey getting from New York to here, but Just what? the old guy with six bags. <laughs> We have so many bags, oh, but anyway, we're here heading on our snazzy Ryanair flight and next stop, Kerry. <laughs> From the lights to the mistletoe And we're home! Okay, bye, Bogey has your Christmas! Bogey. Oh. Dress, Bogey. Show Bogey! Oh. Say wow. to Erica! Come on! Don't be shy! <laughs> she loves Mom! Don't be shy! Oh, oh Bogey! You, you just want Sandy Rose! <laughs> oh, that's so pretty yeah, that. So it's Christmas. Oh, your wishes tonight come true. Kaylin is showing me her little masterpiece of a tree as usual. Did you miss me decorating it this year? No. Did you film it? Uh, no, I, her mom helped me. I did some story. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so well, nice. Yeah, wow. Look at her. She's like, come on, Erica, look at the tree with me. <laughs> Oh, stairs looks nice too. Did you do extra lights? Are these new down here? No, I just put extra. I I push them down further. That wire's not even Nice, so cozy. And our usual Indian order, the first night home. So excited for this. I'm starving. Okay, we are fed. Indian was so good as usual. Now we're just chilling. Mom's happy to have her too. Babies at home <laughs> and Vogue. I'm not sure how she feels. She's she always a bit so indifferent. Tired. Yeah, she's wrecked. <laughs> you her bedhead. Vogue, sit down. Vogue, she won't even We're just chilling for the evening. Um, tomorrow I still have a little bit of work to do, and I have an appointment in the morning. I'm getting a facial um, in Killarney. I just have a few campaigns to finish up and then kind of by the weekend then we're pretty free aren't we? Yeah, pretty free by maybe Saturday yeah. We have some visitors coming, family, so it's going to be a busy... We have 18 people for dinner this year, Mom. How do you feel about that? I feel great. Loving it. Not too bad really. Well 18 is good. <laughs> I mean the table's set anyway so we're fine. <laughs> I still have to get the food though. Yeah, but that's like a last minute thing. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure you have enough... Well, the basics, and you need yeah. to get the fresh stuff. Yeah. You got the potatoes today, we saw them coming in. Yeah, the potatoes. Well, now saying that, I got the potatoes, but you just get the potatoes, of, you know, many days in advance. <laughs> <laughs> Riveting content, <laughs> as usual. It's like a step by step of what days to buy what for Christmas Day. Well, there's certain days you have <laughs> to wait. Creams and oh. fresh bread and. Oh my god. You know? So yeah, we have a week, you know, what day is today? Thursday. So we have we six have days so till Christmas. We have so much to show you actually for cooking, guys, because we've been oh, these two. The so Ken's been home, what, since? Two days. Two days. And all I've heard about since I came in the door today is... Smoothies we're making. Recipes. And we're and making a lovely dinner tomorrow evening. We'll document it. Tune in. Tune in. <laughs> um, Ken, tell them about your laser eye surgery. Oh yeah, so funny story, Bad guys. News. Came home Tuesday way earlier, well not way earlier, but earlier than everyone else, like Erica just came today, David's not coming till Saturday. For my laser eye surgery, was, which was supposed to be yesterday, and Tuesday night we were just getting ready to go to bed, me and mom, because we had to go to Cork, they cancelled it. Not so good. not ideal, but anyway I was here, and at least it's Christmas, thank God I didn't fly just Yeah, far. and you're going to get it done, like after 
in no, January. She's gonna stay home yeah, later. I'm have to stay home longer and change fights. And so stuff, mom, you'll have her for. Mom, well, it's an happy, happy, but it's a win. She's secretly happy. It is annoying. Yeah. It is annoying. Mom's secretly happy. No, it is annoying. Mom was smiling when I said I changed my fight. <laughs> Honestly, well, it just means you have to stay a week longer. Yeah, oh, it's fine. What a pity. <laughs> but anyway, we are going to chill and just relax a little bit more. Um, hopefully, get an early enough night, and we will see you tomorrow for more riveting. Riveting content. Cooking. Yay. See you in the morning. Well, you missed the tree too. Oh, oh I kind of showed them earlier. Yeah. Can't decorate the tree. I mean, as if you're going to let me help anyway. Mm -hmm. like, Mom, how about you? the table? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mom is literally like, Mom's literally like, show them the Mom's like, show them the She loves. She loves. Like, she loves the table. She loves the table. I'll show you the table and then we'll, I'm going to go because I'm like, it's a zombie. I'm so tired. Okay, so this is her. Little masterpiece this year. She's so good at setting tables. I'll give her that. I need to look at this in actual detail and figure out some tips and tricks. Oh, mom, that the napkin thing is kind of like what we got killed. Remember, and since you're on, that's lovely. And then Holly, really nice. So yeah, very organized as usual. <laughs> We're having prawn cocktail. She tells me. Oh, mom, these are nice too. Are these new? Are they new? The things on the, on the plate. Which ones? Kind of um, glassy thing. Yeah, they're for the prawn cocktails, they're new. Yeah, I was thinking they're new. They're lovely. Yeah, I bought them in John. I love these. I think, where are the wine glasses again? TK Maxx. The wine glasses TK Maxx. They're fab. So, so nice. So yeah, very, very organized. Okay, on that note, I'm going back to the couch. Say goodbye, till tomorrow. Bye. See you in the morning. Night, Bogey. There's a bright star shining tonight. Look who is sunning herself. Oh yeah. Are you comfortable? You look it. <laughs> like a spotlight on the glistening winter floor. Why does mom have the cold star on the table for breakfast? Because we're in Ireland now, we post on potato salad 24 7. Okay, go on, Boogie. Okay, come on, breakfast. Breakfast. Come on. I'm leaving you earlier now than my hair. Only two, she knows. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. You're so smart, Boog, when it comes to food. <laughs> We're gonna to go to Rossway. Vogue is with us. We're gonna bring her for a bit of a walk, and to be honest, we need a bit of fresh air as well. It's actually a lovely day. It's like kind of like icy, wintry weather. So we're gonna go for a quick walk, and then I'm gonna go home and get ready for the day. I have to wash my hair, and I might do some tan as well later. Just get myself looking somewhat human. Uh, I slept so much last night, but the problem is with the jet lag is that it's hard to go to sleep at night because obviously it's five hours ahead, so your body's like too early to go to bed. It's so nice to be home anyway, so I'm not complaining. The tiredness is fine, and yeah, I'm excited for the rest of the day now. On a Christmas road through a wintry town, it's a lovely sight when the city's in this gown. So come on and take a Christmas stroll with me tonight. Okay, we're here. Okay. We're here. We're here. Are you excited? <laughs> we should have put our other jumper on for this. Oh, it looks cold but nice. Stubborn as usual. On a Christmas stroll through a wintry town. It's a lovely sight. I literally just come down here to take deep breaths. Oh, that sounds so stupid, but the air is so fresh. You only notice it like when you when you move away, especially to New York because it's so polluted. It's amazing. So good to be back. Christmas stroll. With me tonight, so come out and take this Christmas stroll. Home, and I just showered, washed my hair. I love 
the water in Ireland. It just, I swear, it just makes my feet, my hair feel so much better. I think it's soft water here and then hard water in New York. But I think the soft water definitely suits my hair better. Um, so just wash that there. I used Kiehl's and Kerastase and now I'm gonna dry this and then do a bit of skincare. I'm gonna take over Kellen's snazzy makeup area to do some skincare and show you. Look, she has these lights. How nice. I'd love to have something like that in New York, hopefully. Hopefully someday, but I'm gonna pop the camera up here now. Okay, set up. I have the camera. Literally resting. Oh my god, this area is so perfect. I would love this in New York to do more like makeup stuff, but anyway, some skincare I'm gonna do. I actually just did some and I put it on. I fell in with that one for Instagram story, so if you don't follow me over there, have a look. <laughs> I'm always talking skincare, but one product that I wanna show you, um, it's actually another Emma Hardy product, and this video, I have a really exciting giveaway from Emma Hardy, so stay tuned for the rest of the video, it'll be very soon. Um, but first, I wanna just show you this product. You know I've been talking about Emma Hardy all throughout Vlogmas, and this is one of their products that I wanted to kind of like put in its own segment because I know I've talked about the cleanser and the face mist and I talked about their serum but I wanted to give this its own little space so this is called their Emma Hardy Amazing Face Lift and Sculpt Firming Neck Treatment and guys this is legit okay so what it looks like is it comes in this bottle and then the cool thing about it is at the front here you have off and then on at the back so you have to actually turn it on and you can hear that noise it's actually Kind of satisfying here <laughs> and then it comes with a built-in roller so i won't get it much product out now just so i won't waste it but basically like this part rolls so it's basically like a massaging tool within the product so it's really really cool and honestly i had never had anything like this before and it's definitely an area that I forgot about I do forget about so having this over the last couple of weeks it's actually like it's becoming a bit of a habit for me now which I think takes a while I think with any product like this you have to kind of remind yourself at the beginning to do it but then once you get into the habit of it it's brilliant and I don't know about you but let me just show you how I spend most of my day like this looking down at my phone not good we're all going to get that like tech neck they call it and obviously it's really bad for your posture but it's as well bad for your neck area it's gonna it's just gonna mess it up you know so i feel like one obviously number one is to sit up more straight like this but two there are really great products out there these days and i love this one from emma hardy so what you do is i've turned it on so on back here and then you can like squeeze some of the product it's kind of hard to show you now but yeah so you can kind of see that coming out can't you and then you can either like put it like either like this way or I've seen some people kind of do it sideways like this but you get all the product on squeeze as much as you need like put it over and then you can either like rub it in yourself like this or you can use the tool and the tool really works in that like lymphatic massage technique so you can get into the lymphs and like get rid of puffiness firm up the area and as well it feels divine it's like cooling you know at the end of the day or like at the start of the day when you kind of want to like wake up your skin or just kind of give it a bit of a boost this is so nice so i have seen people do it like sideways like this you can get all under here or you can go in like a downward motion like this and you can actually bring it down here as well so it's brilliant like honestly brilliant and, and you can also use it like without having the roller so you can just like squeeze out the product and then you can put it on or you can turn it off you can bring it out front up and then just like just use the roller if you want so you can bring it down your neck oh it feels so nice and like into the lymphs which like as i said helps with the puffiness and drainage and you can bring it all the way down and then this way as well if you like it's divine it's one of those like lush products that you kind of feel i don't know you feel just good using it so if you don't have any neck products like this already, definitely look into it. Like it's a really good size as well. It's 40 mils, this one that I'm using. Um, there's a good bit in it and you don't have to use an awful lot so it will last pretty well. And again, it also has the tool. So it's like a really good kind of like almost two in one 
thing to have in your makeup bag or your skincare bag or even when you're traveling this would be great as well if you're on the plane sitting there you could be doing it <laughs> while you're idle so i really recommend this one i'll leave a link down below um and if you're like me and you're always looking down definitely look into it and as i said stay tuned in this video it's going to come up very soon now i'm going to just get dressed do my makeup get ready and then i'm going to show you the giveaway they have given me the most amazing sets to give away to you because when I knew we were going to be like kind of working together throughout Vlogmas I asked them would they give me some of their sets to give to you at the end and they really kindly agreed and they went over and beyond with what they gave me so stay tuned I'm going to get ready now and I'll show you the giveaway then I am ready Turn off that light looking more presentable I got this new cardigan how pretty it like ties at the front and then it's all these little bows it's from a brand called walk-in wardrobe um pretty sure they're online and they have a store i think up north in ireland um i'll double check for you but i'll link this below it's really pretty but now on to the important stuff i've laid out all the giveaway stuff under our tree so let me show you what is up for grabs and how to enter okay so here we are all the presents under the tree and then these are some presents i want to give to you thanks to emma hardy and guys this is good, this is a good one. So I have six prizes in total, which I'm absolutely so happy about because it's hard sometimes when I just have one and just one of you get to win, but this time six of you will get some Emma Hardy gifts. So I put them into little sections. So one winner will get these two, two winners will get the two of these. So I have one little set here and then one set over here. So it is the cleansing gel, and the exfoliating brightening tonic which is amazing as well then one winner will get this beautiful little set and this has three products in there and you'll be able to test them out and see if you like them and then two winners will get one of the bams each so this is their 10th anniversary edition so it's the moringa cleansing balm and then you have the cloth i think it might just be one or it could be two but there's a cloth anyway and you all know i'm such a fan of the bam so yeah this would be a great prize so six prizes and here's how you enter okay so as always it is very simple so what you have to do is one make sure you are subscribed to my youtube channel so as you know it's really simple you just need a gmail account log into that then go on to my youtube channel and click subscribe it literally takes like two minutes Number two, you have to go over to the Emma Hardy Instagram page and make sure you're following. So I'll put the, the like handle that they have, their handle, I'll put it right here on the screen. So just go over to your Instagram, go onto their page and make sure you're following. And honestly, it's really good. Like they share all their products and kind of information about them. And when they launch new things, you'll see it over there. So it's actually really helpful to be following them and they're such a lovely team and I just love them as a brand. So that's two. And then number three, just comment on this video telling me you did the two things. And if you want, tell me what your favorite product is. That's not compulsory, but I love to chat skincare as always. So there's the three things, really, really simple. I'll be announcing the winners in the next video. So this is gonna be a quick one. And then I'll also be announcing the winner of the other giveaway that I did. I think it was video number three or four. I did like a beauty kind of, hamper for somebody so all the winners will be announced in the next video which is the last vlogmas video so get entering straight away this one's going to be a quick one but those prizes are amazing and if you've watched all throughout vlogmas you'll have seen me talking about a lot of them and i just adore them and i want you to have them <laughs> as well and a huge huge thank you to emma hardy for sending all these amazing gifts and it's honestly been a dream working together and I hope we get to work together again next year because I adore the brand and use it so much and yeah let me know in the comments as well if you've liked the skincare and I can definitely do more in 2020 so really excited for this giveaway I can't wait for some of you to get these products and hear what you think and everything um so yeah I'm gonna get these wrapped up now get them ready for the winners to be sent out straight away so get entering right now and you could be getting some of these and i have one more thing to show you some of you noticed this in the last video and on my instagram that i picked up something from dior 
while I was in London so I figured I'll do a little quick unboxing now it won't take long and first of all look at this packaging like it came in this stunning bag and then look at the box I haven't opened it yet because I was literally saving it oh, let's see what it with one hand look at this absolutely beautiful even for the box alone this was worth the purchase okay total makeshift tripod situation I hope this is okay I've totally forgot that I don't have a tripod in Kerry and I need to order one so I'll have it but I have it on a box right now so <laughs> hopefully it stays with me. This is how it was wrapped. Sorry, it's very bright now but hopefully you can get an idea. Like so stunning. I got this in the store on New Bond Street, the Dior store there and even if you never want to buy anything from Dior, go into that store. Oh my god. Unbelievable. These like beautiful high ceilings goes way back there's kind of like an interior section wow it was absolutely stunning and then it's right next to chanel which of course is also stunning but so let's unbox it together i always think it's kind of a shame unboxing fancy things obviously i, I always do um this is the box i'm definitely going to keep this box as well for under the tree it's so pretty and then this like look at the detail i know you're probably like erica open the goddamn box and show us what's in there but honestly the they really do it well in dior i only have my vintage dior bag so i've i just bought that online on a second hand site so i never really had the actual experience so this is the bag and i got the strap for the dior saddle so as you know i brought it down so i can show you I have my vintage Dior black saddle that I got secondhand on Vestier Collective about, I'd say probably like a year ago. And I wear this bag so, so much. And the way I wear it is like over my shoulder like this and you have the CD and it's very kind of just like vintagey, like cool style. Obviously there's newer versions, but they're like double the price. So I ended up getting the vintage one, which I love. But lately I've been seeing people with like the saddles, the new and the vintage, get the strap. So that basically you can put the strap on, I'll show you now, with the strap on and you can actually wear it crossbody. So it kind of like casuals it up. So something for a bit more fancy, like maybe to an event or like dinner or whatever, this, and then more like day to day where I can do the strap. So this is the strap. I absolutely love it. It says Christian Dior at the front. And then I have seen people wear it this way as well, even though I don't think you're supposed to because it says like the Made in Italy here and you, you do know that this part is the back, but I guess you can. I mean, like who says you can? So it's this kind of color at the back, more like a white. And then at the front, I went for the black. There is like a navy blue kind of version as well. And she was kind of trying to convince me to get that even though I told her I had the black bag, but she was saying it would be kind of like, you know, bring a bit of color to it. But then I was like, no, that's not me. I love black, I love classic, especially when I'm paying a lot of money. So I went with the black in the end. So let me just put it on and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so this is how it looks. Oh my God, I absolutely love it. So you can wear it this way on your shoulder or else you can do like a cross body like this, which I actually love as well. And then you have the Christian Dior kind of up here. So it's just cool. It kind of like cools it up a little bit. And I think with like all black or all cream or just even like camels and stuff, it's going to be so nice. Obviously not really with this top, it's not the kind of style, but oh, I love it. I'm so happy I went for it in the end. I've literally been thinking about this strap for, I would say, six months at this stage. Like, I'm not an impulse designer shopper or like even just like chopper in general. I really think things through. And I even went online to see if I could get it like secondhand, but honestly, it was actually more expensive um, on some of the secondhand sites because I guess it's kind of trendy right now so people can like charge a bit more for people that don't want to go into the shop or whatever. And they do come in lots of different colors and stuff and you can get embellishment and prints, but you know me, I'm <laughs> very, very classic and I like to be able to wear things with a lot of things. So I didn't go for like a crazy one. I just went for the classic as you can see. But if you are looking for something a little bit more unusual, they have some really cool ones and especially kind of the embellished ones, they're fab and they'd be really nice in the summer too. So that is the purchase. Let me just quickly turn around and show it to you sitting down and then my stomach says you're rumbling. I need to go eat something. <laughs> Okay, so this is obviously the bag, closer up look, and then 
This is the strap. I actually think I have it on the wrong way around. I think it's supposed to be the other way. Like this face the other way, but you'll get the idea. And then as I said, you can do it this way. I saw a girl that I follow and she was wearing it this way today. So I will definitely be doing that as well. Let me know what you think in the comments. And now food. Karen's getting ready to go out. She's going for dinner. I don't know where mom is. I think she's gone to Killarney for something. And I don't really know what I'm gonna do tonight. I think Tommy's gonna come back in a bit and we're gonna make dinner and stuff. And we might go out. I know Christine and my friend got home from Dublin today. So I'm gonna text her now and see what she's doing. Cause I think we're gonna go out on the 23rd. Today's the 21st, the Saturday, but it is Saturday night and it is Christmas. So I'll see, but I probably will finish up this video pretty soon because I want to try and get this edited before I go anywhere um, but I think there was loads anyway in this video for you to see already so you're probably sick of me and we still have one video left so I'll be filming all day tomorrow which is Sunday and on Monday as well and then that will go live think Monday evening and that'll be it then so yeah maybe I'll just leave this here I'll get a head start on the editing before Tommy comes back but I hope you enjoyed it was our first couple of days back at home they're always the best the food and the fresh air I know it sounds stupid but honestly the fresh air is literally the best part and just seeing everyone yeah it's been so lovely so thank you so much for watching be sure to enter the giveaway it is a really good one comment below give the video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe as well if you want to enter and I will see you in the next one thanks so much for watching bye and Vogue also says goodbye and that this is going to be the mood for the rest of Christmas. <laughs> Bye.